The urchins make two changes just from the Jurassic win versus Concord in midweek. Tommy Hoban is back in the starting eleven in place of Jordan Clark, with the rest of the defence remaining unchanged. Joe Christie drops to the bench as Tom Rake moves to the midfield pivot, and as a first start for Laysan Orient Lodi, Thomas Afgalstidis in attack. Hornchurch needs just one win for the next seven matches to clinch the title. It's a lovely spring day here on the Easter weekend at the bridge. As Hornchurch looks to secure promotion back up to National League South. But there's an early chance here for Elliot Long. Goes for the strike and it's a goal. You never see a goal that early here at the bridge, especially not for the away side, but it is 1 0 to Wingate and Finchley. Elliot Long, their top goal scorer, getting the first. And that certainly wasn't in the script for the Urchins this afternoon. Ball knocked long and uh, Elliot Long will regain it back. Here's an to Chuck Wu. Gets the strike away and it's marginally wide there. Wingate should really be 2-0 up at this stage. A let off for the Urchins. They need to wake themselves up really. Intercepted there from Elliot Long. Here's Chuck Wu. Ball over on the wing. He's got two along with him and it's Elliot Long. Ruben Carvalho's in space. Goes for the shot and it's a great block there from Tommy Hoberg. You have to be alert there to stop Ruben Carvalho troubling the goalkeeper. Tom Rex swing this into the box. Ryan Scott with a header. And it's over the bar. That's Hornchurch's best chance of the game so far. Clear by Jack Taylor. Has gone very far though. Here's Elliot Long. Goes for the strike. Deflected. And that's a fantastic save from Joe Wright. It's a great block there from Ryan Scott as well. Great stop from the Horn Judge keeper who has had a bit to do this game so far. Great play from Long. And we go. have got a bit of space now on his right hand side. Is Will Seeger back to Matthew Achuba. And it's Elliot Long again. Goes for the strike. It's 2 0 to Wingate and Finchley. Long gets his brace. Fantastic ball from Will Seeger there into the box. And the Urchins just don't have the answers today. Joe Wright to hit this one long. Here's Liam Nash. Oli Muldoon finds De Silverville Herte. Ball into the box. Oli Muldoon with the header. Drifts wide. Wright's ball is uh, intercepted by Rama Garrett Douglas. Ball over to Chuck Wu. He's got plenty of time, but blasts it straight over for a conversion. If we're talking rugby here. How he was given that much time in the box, nobody knows. I should have done a lot better with that one. Long throw. Ryan Scott gets his head on it. McKissy Evans with the strike. Coming on to make his debut. Claims of handball waved away. Here's McKissy Evans. Holding off his man to the Silver Valherte. Nice bit of play between the two. And there's a strike. Afgal Cedis blasts high and wide over the bar. As a let off the wing gate. Here's the throw from Joe Christie. Ryan Scott gets his head on it. And it's Oli Muldoon! Hornchurch get one back. They've got seven minutes to find another. Time is against them. But if anyone can do it, the urchins can. Oli Muldoon find himself... In a great position in the box. Fantastic knock on by Ryan Scott. Just evades the defenders completely. They have no idea where he is. Great finish. Christie. Tried to find De Silva Valherte, but it's uh, intercepted well. And Garrett Douglas. Spins to the way. Great challenge that by Christie to hold him up a bit. Garrett Douglas. And intercepted again from Christie. Making amends for. Giving the ball away earlier. Zach Newton making a nuisance himself. Here's Long. Looking for his hat-trick now. 
Gets past one, gets past two. Great stop from Joe Wright, but the follow-up is on. And it's blocked by Chris Du. De Silva Velherte being chased down there. The ball's given away. Is Matthew Achuba smothered well by Joe Wright. And the counter is now on. Joe Wright launches upfield. Looking for Liam Nash. Can't quite find him though, but Oli will do will chase the ball. As challenge. That looked like a nasty one. The referee's going to his back pocket and it's a red card for Oli Muldoon. And that looks to be the end of the game for Hornchurch, who suffered their first home defeat of the season at the end of March. And it looks like the title is going to have to wait for another day, possibly away at Canvey.